let's look at the repeat um, forward chase so it will chase now see it's a chase hello and welcome how are you guys doing i hope everything um, is fine and in this uh, vlog i have a surprise and the surprise is we i'll be talking about um, uh, the pixie 2 uh, camp and um, i've been trying for some days uh, to make something with it um, i got it uh, last year but I never got the time uh, to actually go and create a robot with it but here um, i have uh, tried um, and successfully completed uh, the chase mode uh, using the pixie 2 and in which it means that um, uh, it can identify any shape and uh, color and then uh, the boat changes uh, that particular shape and the color on which um, it is trained with uh, computer um, vision so um, i'll quickly tell you the steps um, before we go to the demo you need to uh, download the code which is there um, in the link uh, below uh, you also need need to um, uh, install piximon which is the software which needs uh, to get this boat trained on that particular ball i'll also put a link to that um, yeah, particular uh, step so let's go and see the testing videos and some uh, challenges which i faced while creating this robot if you want more um, inputs on uh, the pixie uh, pixie 2 um, the board uh, then leave your comment and i would be glad to answer hi guys so um, i have created uh, finally the uh, zumo robot as I, as you can see and um, it actually uh, is trained uh, on this ball and it will chase the ball um, and um, also move his head so it's more like a you know uh, programmable uh, programmable robotic uh, dog uh, the cool thing is that it is built on pixie 2 version and um, it's using the dvr uh, motor driver and obviously for the microcontroller we have the arduino so let's get it uh, started so i'll power on So as you can see, it's quite uh, nippy, and um, it uh, it responds to the ball. So as the ball moves away, it tries to chase it, and also uh, does the movement. Now, what is important that uh, you you have a white background? Uh, I did not find it very responsive on the floor, uh, and. Uh, but over the table it's quite uh, responsive as you can see so I'll try to get a close up uh, on the camera see if I to take it down it goes down if I take it up it comes up Let's try the chase again. Let's do it again. Let's try it again. So since there was no um, uh, resources using L293T, uh, um, the only resources which was available for Pixie 2 uh, was uh, with the Zumo uh, robot. Um, so I have a Zumo robot but I did not want to break it and shoulder it uh, as it was given because it's quite an expensive um, robot. So I went and got the DVR um, a series chip which is actually used um, um, in the Zumo robot which you can see. Um, uh, it works in uh, two mode uh, and I am using um, the mode 1 alright and um, yeah, it can uh, control uh, two, uh, two DC motors so uh, that's one thing so I am using the DVR um, chip I will be putting a link to that as well uh, the motors are normal uh, bow motor the chassis is normal um, two servos um, SG90 and uh, the signal uh, uh, is on the up uh, so just in case you are 
configuring uh, with the servo uh, so make sure that the signal uh, pin is up the, i could not find any uh, labeling uh, for this all right the other thing was um, uh, this servo uh, servo neck now um, it is quite expensive um, so i thought uh, um, i will use the normal arduino um, uh, bracket which comes for uh, uh, for this movement but uh, the problem is um, uh, it does not fit uh, the pixie 2 or pixie 1 actually and uh, you have to actually uh, cut it so if you can see it from the camera that you know i had to cut it uh, so that there is a huge capacitor here make space for that capacitor and use some uh, double sided tape and uh, some strip wires um, to connect it um, somehow it's not the best solution uh, but uh, that's how it is and uh, mounting the base uh, with the screw again and with the double sided um, uh, tape as well power source as usual with the common ground between uh, the microcontroller um, and the motor driver and I've also used um, uh, the breadboard power supply which comes in handy because of the switch um, nothing much more to talk um, I'll be putting um, uh, the documentation for the code here uh, so that all of you can uh, replicate it the other final thing I would like to say is that you know use a bright color ball something like red um, uh, blue or green uh, so you'll get better results also it is important uh, the uh, the background which you are uh, using example uh, when I was first testing it I was also wearing a blue kind of a uh, t-shirt and um, uh, the board uh, does not work as uh, well so make sure you do check about the lighting and the ambient surrounding uh, it does not work with the yellow uh, light uh, it needs bright light and preferably in the morning and uh, you can configure it to any object uh, it, it is not necessarily that you need a ball you can also configure it to an object like this maybe which is um, uh, some kind of uh, shape or you can uh, do it with a pencil box any any other shape um, uh, in Piximon you get um, I think um, eight configurations uh, to save it so um, hope you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and um, share and uh, subscribe Catch you all and until the next video.